Welcome back. In this video, we will look at the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense Missile System, its key components, how it works in a simple step-by-step -step format to help you better understand the engineering behind it, and most importantly, the unbiased pros and cons of this defense system. So don't miss a bit and stay tuned until the end. The Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System is a long-range, land-based theater defense weapon that acts as the upper tier of a basic two-tier defense against ballistic missiles. It's designed to intercept missiles during late mid-course or final stage flight, flying at high altitudes. High altitude in name refers ability to intercept incoming missile at endo and exo atmospheric altitude with maximum engagement altitude of around 150 kilometers. The THAAD battery typically operates nine launch vehicles, each carrying eight missiles with two mobile tactical operations centers and a ground-based radar. The launch vehicle is a modified Oshkosh Truck Corporation heavy expanded mobility tactical truck with load handling system. Let's look at each key component in detail. THAAD missile. The THAAD missile is an interceptor missile designed to destroy incoming ballistic missiles in their terminal phase of flight. The missile is 6.17 meter in length and is equipped with a single stage solid fuel rocket motor with thrust vectoring. The rocket motor is supplied by Pratt and Whitney Rocketdyne. The launch weight is 900 kilograms. It uses kinetic energy to destroy incoming missiles, which means that it does not carry a warhead. Instead, it collides with the incoming missile at high speed, destroying it through the force of impact. The THAAD missile is capable of intercepting both short and medium range ballistic missiles, as well as some intermediate range missiles. It can operate at altitudes of up to 150 kilometers and has a range of over 200 kilometers. The missile uses advanced guidance systems and sensors to track and intercept incoming missiles with a high degree of accuracy. M1075 Truck Mounted Launcher The THAAD launcher can fire up to eight missiles at once. Each THAAD launcher typically operates with nine launch vehicles, each of which carries eight missiles, giving a total of 72 missiles per battery. While on the launcher, lead acid batteries provide the primary power. The batteries are recharged with a low noise generator. After firing, reloading the launch vehicle takes 30 minutes. Ground-based radar. The queuing for the THAAD system is provided by the Raytheon Systems ANTPY-2 ground-based radar for surveillance, threat classification, and threat identification. THAAD can also be queued by military surveillance satellites such as Brilliant Eyes. The radar and system components require a total of 2.1 megawatts of power to operate. The ANTPY-2 radar consists of four elements, an antenna unit, electronics unit, cooling unit, and power generator unit. The antenna module is 12.8 meters long, 2.6 meters high, and weighs 34 tons. The electronics and cooling units are roughly 12 meters long and weigh 27 to 28 tons. The diesel power unit supplies 1.1 megawatts of power, and the cooling unit is capable of circulating 290 gallons of water or glycol coolant per minute. The entire system is transportable by road, rail, or aircraft, including via C-130, C-17, and C-5 airlifters. Tactical Operations Center the Tactical Operations Center of the THAAD Missile Defense System is a mobile command center that serves as the nerve center for the entire THAAD system. The Tactical Operations Center is responsible for coordinating the activities of all THAAD system components, including the radar, launchers, and interceptors, and for making critical decisions during missile defense operations. The Tactical Operations Center is equipped with advanced communication and data processing systems that allow operators to receive and analyze real-time data from the THAAD systems, various sensors, and interceptors. This data includes information on incoming missile trajectories, system performance, and target data. 
The Tactical Operations Center is staffed by a team of highly trained personnel, including commanders, operators, and technicians who work together to monitor and respond to potential missile threats. The team is responsible for making critical decisions during missile defense operations, such as determining the optimal time to launch the ad interceptors and adjusting system parameters to optimize performance. Mobile BMC-3I Units The battle management and command, control, computers, and intelligence units are installed in hardened shelters mounted on high-mobility multi-wheeled vehicles. The THAAD system is able to hand over targets to other defense systems and can cue the targets to other weapons. THAAD is able to interface to other U.S. or Allied Air Defense Data Information Networks and to the Battle Management and Command Control and Communication Center. A missile defense system works like this. An enemy launching a missile would be detected by the THAAD radar system when falling into range, and the information would be relayed to the fire control center. The fire control center would then instruct the launch of an interceptor missile, which would be fired from the launcher at the enemy projectile. The information on the target and interception would be continuously transmitted to the missile while in flight, and the enemy projectile destroyed when it re-entered the atmosphere. A Patriot launcher carrying Pac-3 MSE missiles can now be integrated into a THAAD battery and the missile segment enhancement kinematic capability can be fully utilized with the THAAD radar's range. The complete video on the Patriot missile system will soon be uploaded to this channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a moment of the action. Unlike the current THAAD interceptor, which uses a single-stage rocket, the longer-range version would have two stages, similar to rockets that launch satellites into orbit. The first rocket would launch the interceptor to a high altitude in or above the Earth's atmosphere, while a second kick stage would propel the rocket toward the enemy missile. Now let's look at advantages and disadvantages of this system. The THAAD system boasts a number of advantages that make it a formidable tool in missile defense. Firstly, it's effective against a wide range of threats. The THAAD system can intercept a variety of short and medium range ballistic missiles, as well as other threats like cruise missiles and aircraft. This is thanks to its high altitude interception capability, which gives it a greater range than other missile defense systems. The THAAD system also uses advanced radar technology to track incoming missiles and provide targeting data for interceptors. Finally, the THAAD system has a rapid response time, meaning it can be deployed quickly to respond to missile threats, providing a high level of flexibility and responsiveness. While the THAAD system is a powerful tool in missile defense, it does have a number of drawbacks that need to be taken into account. Firstly, cost can be a significant burden for countries looking to acquire the system. The THAAD system is expensive to develop, manufacture, and maintain, which can limit its availability. Secondly, the THAAD system is designed to protect a relatively small area compared to other missile defense systems. This means that it may not be the best choice for defending large areas. If you want to stay on top of the latest military technology, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Our mission is to bring you the most informative and entertaining content on the channel, so join us and be a part of our community today.